Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me for more coverage here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Today to experience the Aston Martin V12 Speedster, the super exclusive open topped V12 Barquetta to go for a run here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed's hill climb with Marek Reichmann in some incredible company. We have Aston Martin's Valkyrie in front, the Vantage F1 edition, the DB11 AMR and the full lineup here as part of the supercar paddock at the Festival of Speed. Let's have a quick look around the car then we'll be heading down towards the start line to get the experience started as we head up on board this today to see what the V12 Speedster is all about. Let's have a few quick words then about this car. The 1 of 88 V12 Speedster as the other cars from the supercar batch are driving through to line up for the start. Only 88 of them in total, named of course as it has a V12 engine up front, the 5.2 litre twin turbocharged V12. It makes 700 horsepower, 753 newton meters and sends that power to the rear wheels through an eight speed automatic gearbox. It's very much open though. There is no canopy, there's no roof, no windscreen. It is a Speedster, a strict two-seater driving experience machine. That is what it's all about. Only 88, so it offers the opportunity to introduce bespoke elements, the details that you can see throughout the cabin. We can explore in a little bit more detail in a moment. These buttresses for the rear storage actually house helmets, should you wish to have those mounted. Of course, we will need to be wearing helmets as we go out for the drive today. Back here, you've got the integrated tail light that runs over with this open spoiler effect as well. We look at the diffuser, and we just happen to be in some pretty amazing company with the Valkyrie right in front of us. No doubt we'll hear that in just a moment as well. But this today is going to make for quite the drive, I think it's safe to say. The Valkyrie is running and my word, the noise of that V12. Six and a half litre Cosworth naturally aspirated V12. Just being part of this, what a feeling, shaking the ground around us. The V12 sounds nice, so we need to get in here, ready for this run. Marek, how are you doing? That sounds pretty nice. We will be in closed face helmets. Obviously everybody now starting to roll up to get ready for this. All happening very, very quickly right now here at Goodwood. Fortunately, it's not raining right at this moment. It's been pretty grim here today, so let me sort out my bits and pieces and then we will go. Now that's cool up ahead of us. <laughs> the Vantage F1. But next is going to be Valkyrie and the noise that Valkyrie makes, the drama of Valkyrie, the excitement of that car, everything about it is just out of this world. My word, that noise is to die for. Right, visor down. It's time, just wait for the signal, and then off we go. <laughs> what a burnout <laughs> on the slightly damp terrain. Okay, with a helmet on, obviously, you feel a bit of being out in the open, but it's not crazy, just the uh, rainwater splattering on the visors and some of the g-forces even within the helmet. This is a quite crazy experience already. Wow, it's busy here today at Goodwood. As we come up towards the famous Flint Wall, the narrow sections of the track, damp here under the trees, towards the end. Woohoohoo! Bit of a slide. Unfortunately, you can't see my smile inside the helmet. You'll have to believe me that I'm smiling a lot. That open experience, even in the less than perfect weather conditions that we have today. <laughs> ah, that was good fun. Wow. <laughs> As we're here at the top then, What 
and it turns out it slides around really smoothly. Yeah. Who needs those tyres anyway? <laughs> Here we are then, up at the top, all happening very, very quickly. That's the thing here at Goodwood, you kind of just jump in the car and go. I came over from an earlier activity, we've got the Zenvo TSRS coming past, the Aston's dotted around, we've got an amazing lineup. We've got Ishiro first floor, Pagani Huayra BC. Wow, that looks cool. The Huayra Roadster BC, Lotus Avaya, McLaren Archura comes on through for this. This is the prototype of the V12 Speedster. Of course, there'll be 88 of the customer cars. There are officially a handful of those remaining for customers to acquire. In some ways, it feels like a successor to the 177, 177, this being one of 88 with this livery that, as I said, comes from the DBR1 of old. But you have that distinctive Aston Martin look. In fact, elements of the design that obviously come from the Vantage style platform, shorter wheelbase, but now featuring the 5.2 litre V12 that we've seen in the likes of the DB11 and the DBR in this case with 700 horsepower. The grill goes right down to the floor, those additional carbon splitter pieces that wrap around. Of course, the exposed carbon, but a very clean look. You'll notice that there are very few panel gaps, the bumper and the arches all rolling into one. Again, this distinct Aston Martin design as one of its competitors rolls on through, the McLaren Elva. In fact, here we have the Elva, the Speedster, and the Monza SP2. The three of the Barquetta hypercars, you could say, all in the same place together which is always a delight to see but this is in some ways a familiar interior from the Vantage the controls that you have in the center the squared off steering wheel the dashboard but obviously this is all a little bit different you have the visor which deflects wind up over the top of your head which is why the driving experience isn't too blustery in fact compared to the others the shoulder line does sit very very high meaning you're more enclosed you've also got the center structure that runs over the top here there are speakers under here if I just point the camera down you can spot those the speakers there's a shoulder pad as well just lovely details everywhere you look center console with all of these leather straps all sorts of lovely and wonderful cars coming on through and then quite a decent amount of luggage space back here and um, you can see you've got some umbrellas and things if we need them and then you've got the fairly open view through that rear spoiler area as well so all in all it's a very very cool thing as everything just makes their way we get parked in close proximity up here to make sure everything can fit in these cost 700 or so thousand pounds, 765,000 pounds, Maserati MC20 coming through. Really interesting car to have experienced and it makes a pretty good sound. Just when you're in a car park of all of the latest and greatest, you get plenty of noise to enjoy and experience from it all. The last of the bikes are coming up. That means it's time for the run back down in just a moment, take a step Back inside here, it is a strange feeling. You have pretty much normal sized doors, but of course without the glass on the top of them and these lovely pull handles as well. In fact, that's the door release pull. All of those small details just add up to more than the sum of their parts. Even of course this, we've got the swan doors and gravity doing its thing, pulling them open. This perforation and the design that you have, very, very nicely finished, full carbon door card. The lovely pouch here in front as well but still with infotainment, with the screens, different bits and pieces, and the armrest pads. It's just a very, very nice thing and very rare as well. There are 500 Monzas between the SP1s and the SP2s, depending how people spec them. There are 149 Elvas, but only 88 of these. I just noticed as well, it's actually open under here. This is all to do, I guess, with the guiding and air management in front of us and how exactly it all works out bikes cruise on through and then obviously a leather finished interior which is all good for the uh, for the weather welcome back <laughs> so we get ready to go back down in a moment ah oh, the panel in the center is i think also new for the uh door mirror controls inside here and then all the buttons that you have for your climate control and that side of things As it fires up in a second we head back on down off goes the Vantage F1 edition 
amongst other cars. They're all heading out. Callum Design Vanquish 25. In a moment, we will head on as well to make our way back down. They also run the Aston Martin safety cars. Regular Vantage there. It's part of the rundown. We're following a new 992 Porsche GT3 and another one right in front of the Touring as well. As we set off now for the cruise back down to base with visors down. <laughs> Keep it open a touch just for a little bit of airflow. Sounds good. And then, yeah, this is the view. <laughs> oh, it's cool with this all around the uh, center structure and being quite snug into it. You are looking, or at least my height, I'm looking just over the windshield visor in front, but still feeling very <laughs> open to the elements and enjoying the rain. <laughs> That was nice. Downshift next to the wall. As we come down back where we drove up before through this pretty narrow pathway on the Goodwood Estate that makes up the Festival of Speed Hill Climb. Apologies for any raindrops <laughs> on the lenses. <laughs> kind of impossible to beat. We come back down past Goodwood House and all of the crowds. <laughs> we are back then, Valkyrie is parked up. As you would expect, 360 cameras, all the gadgetry to bring this back into position. Helmet off for now, four hour return. Arthur Droadster alongside, BB11 AMR over the other side. And that is more or less it. Everybody, of course, paying attention to the uh, Valkyrie alongside. Lovely. There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marek. Appreciate that. Awesome. Right, time to pack on out and head on out. There we have it though, what an experience in the Aston Martin V12 Speedster. There'll be 88 examples, all bespoke, all very unique in their different styles. This is of course the heritage livery, but customers will be able to configure them exactly as they would like in terms of colors, in terms of trims inside. And by the way, it is fully waterproof. All of the different seat pads, the carbon, the electronics, everything is waterproof. If you went out in the sunshine one day and it started pouring as it is here at Goodwood, it would not be a problem. There drainage the carpets are all good with it the materials are all good with it not a problem in the slightest lovely little plaque worn on the top of the Aston Martin V12 Speedster hand built in England at the factory in Gaydon in Warwickshire a very special place and a very very cool car today to experience to hear at the Goodwood Festival of Speed so a huge thank you to Marek for driving a huge thank you to Aston Martin for the opportunity and a huge thank you of course to you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video to get to learn a little bit more about this I'd love now to take one for a drive on the roads to find out a little bit more about it so maybe that can happen at some point in the future for now though that is all here from the Goodwood Festival of Speed today with the Aston Martin V12 Speedster and I'll see you again very soon cheers <laughs>